Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can embed Office documents uh, on a SharePoint page. Uh, let me uh, first show you kind of the mechanism uh, behind it, and then I'll uh, explain some limitations. So look, uh, too often uh, there is a requirement, let's say you have a document, maybe it's a Word document or you know PDF document, and uh, maybe it's so important you want everyone to see it uh, right on the page when users visit it. So uh, let me do this. I am on this HR site. I'm going to create a blank you know, page just so that we have something to play with. And, you know, let's just say it's uh, some policy page, all right, just like that. Now, obviously, um, I can add any web part I want in here. Uh, let's, um, you know, let's add, um, you know, uh, let's add file and media web part. File and media web part is the web part that you would use to embed documents. So if you have a single document you want to embed, like, you know, again, Word, Excel, PDF, that's, the web part to uh, use, and uh, this is what it's it's called, file and media. And of course, you are prompted to select uh, one of the documents. Yeah, why don't we choose this? Uh, you know, I guess uh, one of the documents I already have in here, this PDF. You can obviously browse to. Um, you know, and find, you know, to a specific uh, library folder, and you can obviously uh, choose any other document you want. Uh, but this is what it looks like. All right, let me publish it. And I think some limitations will uh, be apparent to you uh, right away. So here we go. So this is what it looks like. In my opinion, not uh, kind of the best uh, experience. So uh, because it's kind of a document within a document, right? It's a document within a page. and you know, yeah, you can see it right away, but you know, due to limited real estate, the users have to pretty much scroll down and you know, uh, within that particular window. All right, uh, let me show you kind of maybe uh, you know something else. Um, obviously, it takes a bit of real estate, and sometimes you might have a two or three column layout. So you see, if I go for something like this, maybe. All right, so let's do this. Let's pretend we have some other web parts in here. Um, it obviously takes a little bit less space, but it's also a kind of the, the presentation is not there, you see. So yeah, you can you know switch between pages and scroll down, but now you cannot even read it. So that's, in my opinion, a bit of a problem. But look, if you have uh, you know an important uh, you know, document maybe, and you want everyone to see it. Uh, maybe it's an Excel document, all right? Uh, let, let's actually try and uh, embed some other types of documents. And again, the web part you want to use is file and uh, media. And this time I'm going to navigate. Um, by the way, you can embed visual uh, diagrams as well. There are a few nuances, so I will definitely record a video uh, on those. Um, capabilities, but uh, yeah, let's embed, I guess, a Word document just to kind of see. So um, uh, one other thing you you actually have a chance to do, you see, um, you can actually add a brief uh, description in here, like a caption. All right, so at least people know what they're reading. And again, I'm going to uh, republish it. And yeah, this is exactly what it uh, looks like. Yeah, I don't have a lot of content in here, but you get the idea. And um, in case if uh, users want, you know, this is just uh, too small, they can do something like this where they can, it opens it up uh, kind of in a new, you know, essentially it opens up the whole document on the entire screen. But um, again, by default, it uh, pretty much fits it into the size of that particular column. That's uh, what happens. Now, I've seen this trick being utilized. Sometimes you have uh, maybe some important data in Excel uh, and maybe even some charts and pivot tables, or t you know, just regular tables. Sometimes it might be worthwhile to embed that. But again, at the end of the day, it's not really the, the best experience. Uh, however, if you do have that need to uh, embed a document uh, on a page uh, and you already have the content, 
uh, a, you know, like let's say 200 page in a PDF or something, you don't want to recreate it or anything like that on pages, you can just embed the document just like I showed you and that would be the experience. All right, so uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.